Budgeting While budgeting is often seen as an essential part of financial management, some argue that it can be too restrictive and lead to feelings of deprivation, while others see it as a necessary tool for achieving financial goals. Good day, everyone. Today, I would like to talk to you about budgeting, an issue that is fundamental to personal finance. Budgeting is often seen as an essential part of financial management, but there is some debate about whether it is a helpful or restrictive tool. Some people believe that budgeting can be too restrictive and lead to feelings of deprivation, while others see it as a necessary tool for achieving financial goals. In this speech, I will explore both sides of this debate and help you come to a conclusion about what is best for you. Firstly, let's consider the arguments in favor of budgeting. Budgeting is a valuable tool for managing your finances, allowing you to keep track of your income and expenses, and helping you to prioritize your spending. By budgeting, you can create a clear plan for how you will use your money, ensuring that you don't overspend and end up in debt. Budgeting also helps you to set financial goals and work towards them, whether it be saving for a house, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund. Budgeting also promotes financial responsibility and accountability. It requires you to be aware of your financial situation and make conscious decisions about your spending. By having a budget, you are more likely to avoid impulse purchases and spend money on things that truly matter to you. On the other hand, some people argue that budgeting can be too restrictive and lead to feelings of deprivation. They suggest that budgeting takes the joy out of spending and can lead to a sense of guilt or shame when spending money on things that are not included in the budget. Additionally, some people argue that budgeting is not necessary for everyone, particularly those who have a stable income and do not struggle with debt. They suggest that budgeting can create unnecessary stress and anxiety, and that a more flexible approach to money management is more appropriate. So, how can we reconcile these differing opinions? It is important to note that budgeting is not a one-size-fits-all solution. The amount of money allocated for each category in the budget will vary depending on individual circumstances, such as income, expenses, and financial goals. A budget should be personalized to reflect these circumstances and should not be so restrictive that it causes feelings of deprivation. One strategy that can help individuals budget effectively is to use the 50-30-20 rule. This rule suggests allocating 50% of income to essential expenses, such as housing, food, and transportation, 30% to non-essential expenses, such as entertainment and dining out, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. This rule provides a flexible framework for budgeting and allows for some discretionary spending while still prioritizing savings and debt repayment. In conclusion, budgeting is an important tool for managing your finances, but it can also be too restrictive and lead to feelings of deprivation. It is important to create a budget that reflects your individual circumstances, financial goals, and priorities. A budget should not be so restrictive that it causes unnecessary stress and anxiety, but it should be flexible enough to allow for some discretionary spending while still prioritizing savings and debt repayment. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share our videos and subscribe to our page for more nuggets of wisdom.